Hey y'all, this is Ursula, the Harvey Container Gardener. I hope you guys have had a great day today. I have. Y'all, it is still hot down here in Southeast Louisiana. So I know technically we're in fall. Somebody needs to tell the top of temperatures outside this door right here. Because, uh, yeah, it doesn't feel like fall. But I know fall is coming and I cannot wait for the cooler temps. So y'all, today... I am inside. Um, I got some stuff that I want to take care of. And one of the things I want to do is I want to do an unboxing and review on this item. So Grow Well contacted me and they wanted me to test out this product and give them an honest review on this indoor hydroponic system. So y'all Whenever I have opportunities to drop some seeds and grow some food, I will do it. So, y'all hang out with me while I take all of this stuff out. Now, I did go through and I got the manual so I could kind of look through it and see what's going on. And I did open up the packages to make sure that we had everything we need to set this uh, hydroponic system up. So, I want to push this over to the side because this system is all in one piece. I don't have to put this hydroponic system together uh, with the light and the base. It's all in one. So, before I take it out, this is the top, y'all. So, this is the top of the lights. And this is how you will control the hydroponic system. So, let me just... Get it out. All right, so what they sent me was the black and gray. And there's several other colors. I believe it's three other colors that you can choose from. This seems to be a really nice hydroponic system. It has 16 pods or pockets that I can grow stuff in. Grow stuff in. Uh, okay, so. The telescope light, like I said, all of this is all connected already. Only thing I need to do is I need to lift this up. Okay, pull this out. And I want to get it to where I can get my hand underneath it. And I hold the base and I just lift. Yo, this thing look pretty high. So, that's how high it's lifting. All right, so we can grow a lot of nice size plants up in this. All right, so let me set y'all back. And we're going to put this down. I just want to show y'all how it lifts, how high it goes. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and pull out the packages that are inside of this. And like I said, once again, it has 16 uh, pods or pockets. All right. So these are the bags that were in there. All right. So I'm looking for the sponges. According to the manual, the sponges needs to soak for about five minutes. So I want to find the sponges and I want to go ahead and put them in some water so they can start to soak. All right, so they had one, they had two packages of sponges. All right, so I got the sponges in some water. I'm gonna let them soak while we go over the remaining items that was in this. All right, so we have some plant tags. So they're going to fit inside of the um, this part, and it'll help you keep up with what plants are where. I like this. This is cool. Um, we also have, I'm going to open this one, but these are the caps. So if you're planting and you're not planting in every single hole, you could use this and just cover that hole up. All right, so 
I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all yet, but this is a good option to have if I don't. All right, so I got two of these, which are the baskets that the, um, the sponges set in. And yeah, these are going to set directly into these holes. So I got two of them. So it was four, uh, eight in each pack, so enough for all 16. All right. The last thing that was in a package is these are the caps. So once you plant your seed, you're going to cover that hole that piled up with a sticker, and then you'll place the cap over it. So all of this came, and it also came with some tweezers. So when you got those little tiny seeds and they're hard to grip, these tweezers will help you to grip them and put them directly where they need to be. All right, so the last two things that we got, uh, this is the adapter, the power cord to plug it up. And this is the nutrients, the food. All right, so we have an A and we have a B. So we're not using this right now. So according to the manual, I'm gonna set, set everything up. I'm gonna drop my seeds. I'm gonna put water down in here and then I'm just gonna turn it on, let the motor, um, the pump run. Once I start seeing some leaves or something come up, then I will add my nutrients. But I'm glad I had it. And all I'll have to do with this is add some water, shake it up real good. And uh, it depends on how many liters of water you're going to put in here. So according to the manual, it's uh, recommended to have between four and six liters. And this is a little window to show you where your water level is. Okay. So depending on how many liters I have in here, that's how much of food I would put in these little caps. All right, so if I'm only doing four liters, I would do one cap. If I have six liters of water in there, it would be more. All right, so like I said, it's according to um, how much I have in there. All right, so we got all of our, um, all everything that was sent that we were supposed to have according to the manual has been sent, so I can go ahead and start setting this up. All right, so the first thing I need to do is I need to take this plug. The pump is already in there, it's already set. The only thing I need to do is I need to plug this to the back. So let me turn this around so y'all can see. All right, so the pump is plugged right here and there's a little slit in here that I could fit that in, and that way they'll have a, a good seal on the um, on the top, and that goes there. All right, the power cord goes here. So let's take this power cord loose. So I'm not gonna turn it on until I add the water. I don't want to burn up the motor with no water in this, but I want to at least plug it in. All right, so I will plug this in momentarily. All right, so my sponges are still soaking. It hasn't quite been five minutes yet. So, Let's go ahead and kind of set some of this up. Okay. Turn that around. So this is the, the um, tray and it just sits on top right here. So that's the 16 pods. This is where you would put your water or add your nutrients. So this little triangle right here is the only one that stays open. Everything else can be filled. 
All right, so I have my seeds. I have my seeds. So I was thinking, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to grow in this system. And I'm thinking it's, it's such a pretty system. Um, I would love to just keep it on my countertop and maybe when I'm cooking, if I'm growing these herbs, I could just cut the herbs and just, you know, cut them up, throw them in my pot. So I'm thinking I want to put herbs up in here. So I've decided to grow, what is this? Parsley, thyme, sage, dill, oregano, celery. I wanna drop a couple of onion seeds and I would love to have some lettuce indoors that I could just cut and come again and fix me some nice salads or maybe put some lettuce on a sandwich I don't know but you know I think that's what I'm gonna try so I don't want to fill it up I don't want to use all 16 pots I'm gonna say that I want to kind of spread them out a little bit to kind of give everything some room to grow and I think I'm gonna put my lettuces back in a bag and then I'm gonna kind of um, Kind of give everything a little space. All right, so let me get everything started. I need to go ahead and get my water so I can put in here. And the sponges should be soaked up, should be moist, wet, that I can go ahead and drop my seeds. All right, y'all, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all, so I got some water. I'm going to go ahead and put it in and I think I'm going to try to stay between that um, four and six and try to maybe do five. I think that's a safe amount. Put the top on and now I want to plug it. All right. Oh, and as soon as I plug it up, I heard the um the pump come on. So, uh, according to Growell, according to the manual, the pump will run for 30 minutes and it will stop for 30 minutes, and it will just continue. Now you can adjust it with the buttons up at the top. Let me show you in the book. So the buttons across the top look like this. Here's the power, the pump. Um, you know, different vegetables, flowers, and then it's a sleep mode. This is at the top, and that's how you can adjust it. All right. So, I want to go ahead and take these sponges out. And go ahead and put them in. All right, so next thing now is to go ahead and just drop the seeds, y'all. All right, so what I got first, parsley. All right, so y'all get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and finish labeling these. I'm gonna move them around to how I want them to grow. And I will give y'all an update. I will let y'all know once I start seeing some um, leaves come up, I'm gonna give y'all an update on how this Grow Well uh, hydroponic system is working. Hey 
Hey y'all, this is Ursula, the Harvey Container Gardener. So y'all, I am coming back to you guys. It has been a couple of weeks since I drug these seeds in this beautiful Grow Well hydroponic system. Uh, I wanted to give the uh, seedlings a chance to get a little size on them so y'all could see how beautiful and healthy the plants are growing in this system. Um, once I set it up, filled it up with water, um, I saw the plants started coming up. I went ahead and I added the nutrients, the uh, bottle A and B that I showed you earlier in the video. And y'all, just look. I mean, not every seed I dropped originally grew. And it wasn't on the hydroponic system. I think my seeds were just old. So wherever I saw a seed wasn't coming up, I just dropped some lettuce seeds, y'all. But I do have my sage. Sage did come up. I got some onions. Let me raise this up so y'all can see, because as these uh, vegetables grow higher, taller, I can raise this up. So let me raise it up so y'all can see how high this actually goes. So that is the height. But I want to bring y'all in closer so y'all can see these beautiful little uh, seedlings. So here's a good look. This lettuce just started growing off the bat. Some right here. I got a different type of lettuce right here. I have an onion right here. Some more lettuce. These, this row right here is all onion. I didn't want to put anything too big in here, so I thought that would be perfect. Um, right here is oregano, and I have one tiny little oregano down up in there that's coming up. So I left this one alone. And then everything else is just sage and lettuce. So I think the hydroponic system is growing great. Um, once I set it up, I didn't have to do a thing to it. Uh, I hear uh, every now and then the motor when it, it comes on and it goes off automatically. The lights are set where they go, they stay on for a certain uh, number of hours and then they go off automatically. And y'all, there's really nothing else that needs to be done. So, in the day, in the time that we're living, and there's so much going on, y'all, wherever you can, whenever you can, drop a seed, drop a couple of seeds. Try to grow in as many different environments that you can possibly grow in. We don't know what's gonna happen next week, next month, next year, but, if you start growing your own food, at least you'll have that security to know that no matter what happens, you will have your own food. You will have something to eat. And if you grow enough, you can share. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to let y'all know this beautiful Grow Well hydroponic system, 16 pods, is doing fantastic. I'm going to leave it on my counter. And when I get ready, because I have a few little tomatoes outside, I could come in and Harvest them and come cut me a little bit of lettuce, maybe some green onion, and fix me a nice salad. All right, y'all. So any information I have on the Grow Well, any links, any codes, I will put that in my description box below. So you can go ahead and check that out if you're interested in this system. Y'all, the holidays are coming up. This would be a great gift for someone who can't get outside but has a desire to grow some food. And it can also be used for flowers. But me, I'm growing food. All right, y'all. I want y'all to have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I hope y'all stay safe and be blessed. I will talk to you guys later.